What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of the Life Coach Breakdown. No, is that it? What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Life Coach Reacts. And in this episode, we're reacting to industries that should not exist. Yeah, this is a really big topic for me. It's like, it, it hurts my heart to talk about it, but we got to talk about it. There's something that I think uh, everyone should know. It's called the ills of society. And the ills of society are plaguing mankind right now. They're running rampant. I'm not going to get into conspiracy theories. I'm just going to keep it factual. Yeah. Gambling is an industry that shouldn't exist. Here's the nuance of this conversation. I'm not a believer in everything should either be legal or illegal. I believe in like education of choice. So there's some people who bet like five pounds, five dollars, ten dollars, hundred dollars on something and they do it responsibly. Maybe sports, maybe racing. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I don't enjoy gambling. I just think it's an evil thing that I don't want to participate in. Kind of like hurting people, you know, like if you're going to hurt someone, and you're doing it for sport or you're doing it for fun i don't really want to be involved with that i met someone a long time ago no not a long time ago a few years ago and i asked him what does he do for a living and he he asked me what do you do for a living and at that time i was building my life coaching business which i'm still doing and um i mentioned yeah i'm a life coach and he went huh, okay and it was really judgmental, but I didn't really think much of it. I just had a long day of coaching and I don't, you know, I don't have the need to like prove to people I'm doing well, please acknowledge me. I used to have that. <laughs> I don't have it anymore. And at that time I didn't have it. So um, I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'd be interested to know what, what do you do? And he said, I work in adult gaming. And I was like, oh shit, like PlayStation. I got so excited. He goes, no, no, no. Uh, I mean, uh, casinos, gambling. And my face just dropped. And uh, my mom says this to me. She's like, you can't just show people like your facial reactions to something like people are going to get offended. And when he told me it was gambling, I just, uh, I really, you know, my heart dropped. Because what I noticed is this person's actively participating in the destruction of mankind. It's like if you're, if you're involved in the sex trafficking industry, if you're involved in, um, something like i don't know heroin production and you're putting like broken glass in it i don't know whatever man like i've seen a lot of these things um and when what i noticed with this person it's not about victimizing him it's not about saying he's a bad person none of that yeah i don't know why he's doing that as a career but this is what i noticed he's drinking a lot of alcohol which is another ill of society that we'll talk about another day and um, his attitude towards life was very much about um, what can he take. And um, in that interaction I had with him, it was very brief. But in the very brief interaction I had with him, and it's just one person who works in the gambling industry. I'm not saying that everyone's like this, but um, I noticed that he was deeply sad because he said things that only someone who's deeply sad would say. And it's kind of like if you meet someone who works in a slaughterhouse, if they're slaughtering animals for a living, they're not gonna be the happiest and most cheerful people on the planet. I don't know, I've met a few of them, they definitely weren't. This industry, the reason I say it shouldn't exist is because it's built off the backs and uh, the livelihoods of people who are suffering. I know so many stories, and I'm sure you do too, of people who've lost their family's wealth or like the ability to feed their kids or pay their bills because of gambling. I know people who've been had their legs and, and arms broken because of gambling. I know people who've um, gambled outside of their means um, and they lost their lives. You know, you get into the wrong company, it's kind of what happens. And it's very sad. But the only way that I think we can take this industry out is if, uh, if there's no desire for it. And I don't mean in take it out in the sense that, um, you know, there's some righteous crusade and let's burn down casinos. That's the wrong way to go about it. And you see, there's two ideas here. There's renaissance and there's revolution. Revolution is let's burn a bitch down. Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck that place. <laughs> and, um, you yeah, know, I used to be in that camp. Really, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I used to be in that camp, but I'm not anymore because I'm more into renaissance. You see, a renaissance is a revolution of the mind. You can't kill an idea, but you can kill revolution quite quickly. Hey, anyone who burns down a casino, you're going to get life in prison. 
you know, if we find that you're a co-conspirator to this thing that people are doing in revolutionary times, you we, we know, we're going to come down on you hard. We're going to make an example out of you. There's a guy in the London riots. He shot a gun at a helicopter and he got 30 years in prison. It put a lot of people off. Whereas Renaissance, it's about revolutionizing the mind. You can't kill an idea. You you can you can stop people from doing things physically. You can't really stop them from believing in things. You can't really stop them from changing their minds. This is what this requires from us. If gambling, if there's no desire for people betting on high stakes things or like getting crazy into debt, then maybe regulation would be stiffened. Who knows? But it's an idea. It's a it's an ill of society because it's promoted and made normal. You see these ad, um, advertisements on TV or YouTube, or whatever it is, like bingo, uh, b like small slot machine gambling, um, like just random like roulette stuff, and it's like giving people a, 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 a cheap thrill, and it's not so cheap because this can cost you your whole life. And I know everyone knows this stuff. What I'm saying is, if you agree with me, because the people who don't agree with me aren't going to be watching these videos, right? If you don't agree with me. No, sorry, if you agree and you think gambling as an industry should not exist, then the only way for us to rid the society we live in from this evil is to look in the opposite direction. What are people looking for when they gamble? It's a thrill. It's a moment of excitement. It's adrenaline um, to take you out of the moment. But uh, sorry, to take you out of your suffering and bring you into the present moment. And this is what these industries are based on is giving you an escape. The only escape you can have is being completely present. And in that moment where the reels are spinning or the hand gets dealt or the roulette table is going, in that moment, you're completely present. You're only fixed on one thing. What's the outcome of this going to be? And that's what people are paying for. They're putting their whole house bet on something that's outside of their control so they can feel alive. That is only you're only able to feel things in the present moment so outside of that people are lost in thought and this is why a lot of the content on this channel is about changing your relationship to thinking thinking is outside of your control you don't control it you don't choose to create thought you experience it it comes through you just like electricity doesn't come from the wall behind me it comes through it right the wall is not manufacturing the electricity it's coming through it right it's the same with us and our thoughts so if people are lost in thinking all the time, I'm not surprised they want to just bet on something to feel something. I'm not surprised they want to pay for something to change how they feel. But it's a misunderstanding. We don't need to do that. All we need to do, and it's a big thing. It's not like, oh yeah, just do this and suddenly everything's okay. It's work. It's building the mental muscle of learning how to exist as a human separate from thinking. That, brothers and sisters, is what we need to point people in the direction of if we don't want them to be gambling. And I don't mean go out on the street and start, you know, preaching at people because that's not really going to get us the results we want. It starts with home. It starts with the people around us. That is a renaissance. Fuck the revolution. It doesn't really work. Renaissance is where it's at. And if you want to create a renaissance and have pure, like, no one around you corrupted by this evil of gambling, it's really about this. Point them in the direction of what they're actually looking for. Point them in the direction of what can be helpful for them by talking to them about their relationship with thinking. What are you thinking? What's consuming you? Because this thing that you're you're going you're you're doing something to change how you think or feel in the moment. That's a misunderstanding. You're just building further and further on what was what you wanted to take yourself away from. You're adding more and more layers to it. Whereas if we strip it all back, and you get really comfortable with having no distractions. That's where the real hard work starts. And we can help our, pe our people around us to do that. If we do that, then over time, these industries won't exist. And that is the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope this has sparked some good ideas for conversation for you. If you want some tips on how to talk to people about their gambling problem with you, uh, I'm, I'm here to talk. Now hit me up on Instagram. Hit me in the comment section. I'm really excited to have these conversations because it will change the face of the planet. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.